We are going to move on now to the latest on the college admission scandal and Felicity Huffman. She's laying out her explanation and remorse over what she did in a letter to the judge who will decide her sentence this week. Eva Pilgrim here with the story. Good morning, Eva. Good morning to you, George. Judgment Day is fast approaching for Felicity Huffman. And in that letter, Huffman asking the judge for community service, no jail time. But prosecutors saying not so fast, urging at least some time behind bars. Actress Felicity Huffman bearing all. Excuse us, folks. In a deeply revealing letter to the judge, Huffman taking complete responsibility for her role in the cheating scandal, but claiming her decision to pay $15,000 to boost her daughter's SAT score was an act of desperation, due in part of her fear of being a bad mom. The 56 year old writing, In my desperation to be a good mother, I talked myself into believing that all I was doing was giving my daughter a fair shot. I see the irony in that statement now because what I have done is the opposite affair. The mother of two explaining that her eldest daughter, 19 year old Sophia Grace Macy, struggled with learning disabilities since she was four years old, saying my own fears and lack of confidence combined with a daughter who has learning disabilities often made me insecure. Worried Sophia's low SAT math scores would hurt her chances of being admitted into acting school, she says she was recommended a private college counselor, Rick Singer, the so-called mastermind of Operation Varsity Blues. Getting into the right college will set the trajectory for the rest of your son or daughter's life. Don't leave it to chance. In her letter, the actress claims after nearly a year of working with Mr. Singer and his tutors, he told me it wasn't enough adding that he had the solution and that Sophia would never know. But soon the entire world would know Singer eventually becoming a government witness. Huffman and dozens of other parents, coaches and college officials caught up in a national scandal. On March 12th, six armed federal agents arrested and handcuffed the actress in front of her children. After her arrest, Huffman says my daughter looked at me with tears streaming down her face. Why didn't you believe in me? Why didn't you think I could do it on my own? I could only say, I am sorry. Her husband, actor William Macy, also writing a letter to the judge describing how this has affected their children, saying Felicity's relationship with her daughters exploded on March 12th. The last line of his letter saying simply, Every good thing in my life is because of Felicity Huffman. Macy's letter, one of 27 written to the judge by Huffman's closest allies, including her siblings and former colleagues, like former Desperate Housewives co-star Eva Longoria, who wrote, she always leads with her heart and has always put others first. I guess we should just put this behind us and get back to normal. Sounds like a plan. Huffman is asking to avoid jail time and serve 250 hours of community service for conspiracy to commit mail fraud. But federal prosecutors say the actress should spend at least a month behind bars, taking a swipe at her status as a Hollywood star, saying Huffman's conduct was deliberate and manifestly criminal. Neither probation nor home confinement in a large home in the Hollywood Hills with an infinity pool would constitute meaningful punishment or deter others from committing similar crimes. Now, all eyes are on Friday when the judge will make that decision. She is the first of the parents to be sentenced, and many agree this decision will set the tone for the others that are to come. Many people are watching. Mm -hmm. See what happens. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.